The purpose of this video is to show the major components of the Incident Commander's radio interface, or the ICRI. This video assumes you are already familiar with the purpose of the ICRI for mutual aid communications, for radio interoperability, and as a tactical repeater. This ICRI configuration is a 5 radio port, 2 top group configuration. It has 5 radio ports numbered 1 to 5. It also has talk group switches above each port. These talk group switches enable any of the connected devices, including radios, to be placed into any of two talk groups. There are Vox LED indicators, which assist the user during setup of the ICRI. There's also a handset jack and a handset volume control. This volume control only affects the audio level of the speaker of the handset. It does not affect the audio level of the radios. There's a power switch, a power input jack, and input voltage LED indicators which indicate to the user when the external power source needs to be replaced. On the side of the ICRI is an RJ22 jack for a connection to a landline phone, cell phone, VoIP phone, or satellite phone. On the top of the unit are setup instructions in case the manual is unavailable and on the bottom of the unit is the pinout information in case a cable or a port needs to be repaired in the field. The ICRI is enclosed in an aluminum welded chassis with scratch resistant paint. 